hello 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 and welcome to my youtube channel it is i your favorite alchemist the alchemy goddess thank you guys so much for tuning in if you're new to my channel welcome if you're returning thank you so much for coming back you are greatly appreciated this is going to be your january 2021 general monthly zodiac reading for the sign of scorpio hello my scorpios um i hope you guys enjoyed your new year happy new year um we're doing things a little different this year we're not gonna be doing you and your person's energy i'm done with that we're gonna just pull cards and see where spirit guides us and also no more half hour readings we're doing 10 to 15 maybe 16 maybe 17 minute readings tops okay we are just trying to clear away some space and make room for all of the zodiacs that i have and i do do i do 24 zodiacs okay i do the cuspers and i also do the general zodiac so scorpio i hope you're ready because i'm ready and we're gonna jump right in let's see what energy we have for you for the month of january 2021 spirit what is the energy and the atmosphere for scorpios for january 2021 give us something good i don't feel like my scorpios need it Ooh, progress six of wands okay Queen of Wands, fire energy. Some some of you are taking your power back. I feel it. I feel it. Getting real, real inspired. Really motivated. Like you know who you like, you know who you are. You know what I'm saying? Seven of Pentacles. Something's not working out. <clears throat> we have the Knight of Cups, Scorpio energy. We have the Wheel of Fortune and the Page of Cups, Scorpio energy with that as well bottom of the deck we do have the chariot so some of you are moving forward into a very growing space like that chariot at the bottom of that deck and we have the hermit following that and the page of pentacles so i definitely feel like some news some information could have been shared with you this um this month that's going to help push you forward like like you've been searching for this i feel like you've been soul searching for this you know and it's finally there and it's finally like okay I'm ready to go. I'm ready to move forward, you know, and I'm and I'm and I got it. I got what I need to move forward. Like I'm gonna grow in this. I'm gonna blossom, you know. And I not feel with the six of pentacles, it's like for movement, for progress, you know. And it's and it's all through love. I feel like it's all through love, Scorpio. Like you're you're not bringing like this energy of like, you know, I'm better than you. You're doing it through love. And I feel like that's really special. That's different. You know, it's not about conquest. It's not about conquering something. It's about you getting over something. It's about you finally breaking a cycle. Ooh, I feel it, Scorpio. Like the old way did not work. I need a new way. That's what I'm getting. Okay, okay. Definitely feeling like withholding your emotions right now, but in a in a positive way. You know, you're using those that energy. You're harnessing it to bring love to yourself and those around you. Mmm. Dang, Scorpio. Okay. Spirit, please clarify the page of wands young air energy spirit please clarify the page of wands too much to bear i feel like you've been dealing with a situation involving a young air sign could be a aquarius gemini libra doesn't matter but their mentality is young they don't have to be young but their mentality is young okay and it's just too much of a burden for you you're like i'm done i'm moving on from this this is not this ain't it like and i feel like you've been here before I feel like you've been here before because you've accumulated so much baggage. This is not the first time that you've gone through this. You keep accumulating baggage with it. Spirit, please clarify. Uh-huh, look at that. Let's clarify the Queen of Wands. Okay, new beginnings. See, I told you, you're headed into this new energy. Like, I'm not doing nothing reckless no more. This was you, and now this is you. You were that young fire energy, and now you're this growing fire energy. And remember... You could have fire somewhere in your chart, but it doesn't necessarily mean that. It just means you're embracing that energy of that fire, motivation, inspiration, getting things done, you know, watching how you move and things like that because it's a new beginning. Like you're grabbing it. You're taking it by, you know, you're, you're, you're grabbing that new opportunity and you're running with it so that you can plant seeds for growth. Basically, spirit, please clarify. There goes that queen, that king of wands. Some of you could be dealing with a Leo, Sag, or Aries. I'm getting that too. Like, this could be a situation involving a Leo, Sag, or Aries. And it's just like, it's not growing. But not necessarily, right? Spirit, please clarify the seven of pentacles energy. Spirit, please clarify the seven of pentacles energy. Remember, you take what resonates, the rest you leave it. Scorpio energy. Listen, you're going through a transformation, Scorpio. You are walking away from what no longer serves you. Something has inspired the hell out of you this month. Something has inspired you. Whatever it is, you realize it ain't working. It ain't growing. Could be an um, air sign. Could be an earth sign. 
Could be a fire sign. <laughs> Spirit, please clarify the Knight of Cups energy. Spirit, please clarify the Knight of Cups energy. Spirit, please clarify the Knight of Cups energy. We have the Eight of Pentacles. You're working on yourself. Ooh, you're bringing love to yourself. I know you were, though. I said that, didn't I? Three of Cups. Reuniting. Maybe a reunion with a friend. Maybe a reunion with a friend helped you. I know. I, it's funny. I, ha I um, haven't seen my friend in so long, and we actually met up this past weekend when, when we went out um and we had something to eat we had a really good time so this is kind of interesting she's a scorpio so please clarify the wheel of fortune please clarify the page of cups so please clarify for us all right so we have the six of pentacles and we have the knight of pentacles bottom of the deck king of pentacles definitely feel like this could have also involved an earth sign okay virgo capra taurus um you're breaking a cycle withholding your feelings like you never gave me as much as I gave you. I'm walking away. I'm I'm I, I've been like I I, I I I walked away. I feel like this is like I walked away. You know, like I like this is like that's what I did. I, I didn't stick around. I'm not sticking around. Damn. I gotta send this to her when I'm done. <laughs> Libra energy at the bottom of the deck with the justice card and new beginnings at the bottom of the deck, or should I say when I split the deck with the full card, okay? Tired of proving yourself. Tired of proving yourself with the Seven of Wands. Okay. One more time. Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands is always present, yo. Trying to get things, you know, moving. Trying to, you know, deal with everything coming at you at one time. Let's get that confirmation. Spirit, please confirm the Six of Wands energy. Eight of Pentacles. You're working on yourself. You're not, you're done with this baggage. You're done with it. You just want to be happy. Breaking cycles. I get it. I get it, Scorpio. Working on myself, mastering yourself, leaving that young air, that young minded individual alone. All that baggage you accumulated, I'm working on me. All that energy I put in, I'm working on me. You know what I'm saying? Breaking cycles, getting out the, getting off that hamster wheel. Why? Because you just want to be happy. Somewhere it could be a Leo somewhere in the mix. Okay. Spirit, please clarify and confirm. I'm sorry. Spirit, please confirm the Queen of Wands energy. Spirit, please confirm that Queen of Wands for us. Spirit, please confirm the Queen of Wands. Yeah, some kind of conversation took place. And you got that You got that chariot again. Some kind of conversation took place. Some news was shared. Okay, probably maybe with the Earth sign. Virgo Capra Taurus. To, excuse me. To push this new beginning forward and to give you that motivation that you needed to kind of like take the bull by the balls to kind of like you know be more inspired and more um passionate <clears throat> i feel like you're taking your power back with the hierophant energy and then of course with the chariot here we go again you know who you are you have everything that you need you've been had it but now you're just implementing it this is not like the magician it is but it's not the chariot is going the magician is manifesting but the chariot is going you know the chariot is going for it going for what you want spirit please confirm the seven of pentacles energy what didn't work out spirit what's bringing about this change for scorpio spirit what's bringing about this transformation spirit emperor masculine energy taurus um aries vibes to a cups it's a relationship that didn't work out it wasn't balanced i feel especially with that emperor energy coming up it wasn't balanced spirit one more one more card pentacles 10 you wanted long-term commitment you wanted stability you wanted them to be a man or if you're a woman or if you're a man you wanted them to let you be a man okay and i feel like that that's the change with you like i'm not i'm not the man no more within this relationship i'm not doing it i wanted the long term term stability and i still want long-term stability but i don't want it with you i am moving on i'm changing i'm transforming i'm doing what's best for me spirit please confirm the knight of cups energy spirit please confirm the knight of cups energy we have the tower card i'm telling you something fell in apart spirit please confirm the knight of cups energy foundation wasn't solid so you got to rebuild it right spirit please confirm the knight of cups energy hangman i'm not sitting here no more i'm not stagnant no more i ain't stagnant no more ace of pentacles taking that opportunity i told you you had the ace of pentacles over here i feel like a conversation you might have had a reunion you could have had with someone with you know with somebody pushed you to, to to be more invested in yourself you know what i'm saying i feel like it, it it was not a shock to you but you came to a realization that the foundation of the situation was you you were that foundation so let it fall because you just you just let it happen you didn't make no changes you let it happen but not anymore you are taking on a new beginning and you are grabbing it and you're running with it 
So yeah, please confirm the Wheel of Fortune and the Page of Cups energy. Please confirm the Wheel of Fortune and the Page of Cups energy. We have the Nine of Pentacles, self investment, waiting. It, it didn't. All this investing, and I don't get. I don't get nothing. Hermit energy, Virgo. One more card, Spirit. One more card. We got a few cards over here. Let's get one more for this. Thank you. Bottom of the deck, Three of Swords, heartbreak, loss, pain. Okay, could be from a um, Virgo Capricornus. Mainly, could be a Virgo. Ooh, got the King of Pentacles, and we got you know the Hermit energy. So some of you definitely could have walked away from a Virgo. Definitely, or Capricorn or Taurus, but mainly Virgo with the um, Hermit energy. You did a lot of soul searching for this. You know, you looked inside yourself to get this. You're tired of proving yourself. Like, you know, I, I, I adored you. I admired you, you know, in that sense. Like, I, 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 I looked at you as my everything, but I'm tired of it. You know, I'm tired of fighting. I'm tired of having to have my guard up. You know, I moved on from that and I let go. I let go. And then, of course, the Nine of... Sorry, the nine of pentacles. You invested so much into this situation. When am I going to see my harvest? I feel like almost like you have expectations for this Virgo or this earth sign. You had expectations for them and they failed. They failed. And you don't want to be a part of that hamster wheel no more. And here they are trying to, you know, make you a part of that hamster wheel again. You don't want it. You don't want no parts of it. Spirit, please clarify and confirm the Six of Wands energy. Crossroads. You are definitely at a crossroads. Where are you going to go, Scorpio? Which way are you going to go, baby? Which way are you going to go? Mask. Hide your feelings. Are you hiding your feelings? You should or you shouldn't. Forgiveness. See, interesting enough, I feel like this is about you forgiving yourself. I feel like you wore a mask so long around this immature earth. I'm sorry, this immature air energy. You wore a mask, not really expressing yourself, not really being truthful with yourself, not really, you know, not really accepting or, or accepting less of what you deserve. I feel like, and now you're at a crossroads. And now that you're at this crossroads, you can go any way you want. And I feel like your focus is going to be forgiving yourself and, you know, forgiving yourself for hiding your feelings, forgiving yourself for not being truthful with yourself. Spirit, please clarify and confirm the Queen of Wands energy. Please clarify and confirm the Queen of Wands energy. Spirit, please clarify and confirm the Queen of Wands energy. Spirit, please clarify and confirm the Queen of Wands energy. One more card, Spirit, please. And thank you. I'll take it. Take it. Two more cards. So we have Observer. We have Self Worth, Big Dreams, and Pride and Ego. So it seems as though your person definitely is watching you. They're definitely keeping a close look on you, but because of their pride, they won't even admit it to you. They suck. They suck, okay? Worry about yourself. Self-worth and big dreams, you got that. You got big dreams, worry about yourself. Walk away, take that bull by the balls like you've been doing. Like, like I said, this whole reading, you know what you're worth. This union, that's the union that you're, that you're transforming from. It's a union that's changing your life, you're leaving it. Spirit, please clarify and confirm the seven of pentacles energy. Recognition. You don't get the you didn't get the recognition you deserved in that union. So it's time to leave. Refocus. Okay, so what? We're soulmates. Okay, so what? We might be twin flames. All right, so what? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Refocus yourself because you didn't get what you wanted out of that connection. You didn't get it. Spirit, please clarify and confirm the knight of cups energy. Please clarify and confirm the knight of cups energy. Destruction. Ooh. See, I know that tower card was something. Contemplation. So you're able to clarify and confirm. Summer. Yeah, I feel like you're part of a situation where it just, it, it was so destructive, you know, and you didn't let nothing happen. And you're contemplating about this connection. You've had a discussion or you, you're contemplating about re reuniting with someone. I don't think you should. I get destruction. And I'm not just saying this. It's destruction. That's what came out the deck. <clears throat> destruction and you contemplating you might have a better shot coming back around in the summer summertime it might be better or summertime might be when you find a lot finally end it take what resonates the rest leave it spirit please clarify and confirm the will of fortune and the page of cups we have guide we have free will one more card spirit or two take two Bottom of the deck, solitude. It's time to be alone, okay? It's time to be alone so you can figure things out on your own. 
no interference with them because I feel like they, they could be manipulative. This earth sign could be very manipulative. Remember one thing and one thing that's most importantly, this person has free will. You have free will. No matter how strong the connection is, free will will always take place. Shadow work needs to happen. Somebody needs to work on their shadow self. Could be you, could be them, could be the both of you. I feel like with patience, you know, with patience, you'll see for yourself, but ultimately you're being guided. And however you're being guided right now is kind of like to focus on yourself, Scorpio, and to leave this energy behind. You got big dreams and your self-worth is not does not have a price. There's no price tag on you. You know what I'm saying? Mm. All right, Scorpio, that's it for your January 2021 general monthly Zodiac reading. Hope you guys have enjoyed. If this reading has resonated with you, please be so kind. Let's leave a comment down below in the comment box. Don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, and hit that like button. If you're looking for a private, personal, more in-depth reading, you can always email me, theblackcosmicologian at gmail.com, or you can hit me up on Facebook or Instagram. I'll leave all the links down below so you guys can get in touch with me. And I'll check you guys later. And don't forget to tune in Monday through Friday for my daily tea and tarot right here on my YouTube channel. All right, y'all. Check you guys next month. As always, y'all know what it is. I ain't got none but love for y'all. Peace. <laughs>